Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel once again, the beautiful stitches. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. If you are visiting for the first time, you're welcome. I love you. Please, before leaving, click the subscribe button and touch the notification bell to always get notified anytime I upload my videos. And for my subscribers, you guys rock. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Please continue to watch my videos. And also, if you have not turned off the notification bell, turn it off so that you always get notified anytime I upload my videos, okay? Today, we are going to be making this beautiful gown, okay? It's called Kaftan Bubu Gown or Butterfly as the name goes, okay? All right, let me show us what I'm talking about, okay? Before we get to our working table. So, this is the gown I'll be making, as you can see, looking very beautiful. Very simple and elegant. You can see the curved ends, okay? You can see the back looking very, very beautiful. All right, let's get to today's work. Okay, guys. Here is our fabric that we'll be using for today's tutorial. As you can see, our fabric is looking very beautiful, but we are going to be placing our fabric on fold using the length of our fabric we are going to be folding it across the length and then refold it with the width so let me show us what i'm talking about okay so here is my fabric i've placed it on fold across the length just like i said earlier we'll be using the length of our fabric as you can see here is my fabric this is the folding across the length as you can see so what we are going to be doing again is to fold it across the width now okay just the way i'm doing it just watch out what i'm doing we're going to be folding it across the width remember i've also measured out the length the estimated length of the fabric i'm going to be using for today's tutorial so fold it across the width now all right we are back to our work table okay so we have folded our fabric the proper way we want it to be across the length and then across the width okay so let's mark out our measurements on our fabric from our shoulder to our waist we have 17 inches okay just watch what i'm doing and then from the waist to the hip we have 24 inches and then the full length of our gown is going to be 58 inches this is a very long gown so we we'll shift it forward to achieve our desired length so we have 58 right here and then folding inclusive okay so what we are going to do now is to mark it out into a straight line so let's mark out the vertical measurement into a straight line just the way i'm doing it This is a very big uh, fabric, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to move around the table, okay? So let's mark it out. You can use your ruler. I'm using a free hand to mark it. Okay, so right now, what is going to determine the horizontal measurements or the quantity of fabric to be cut out horizontally it's going to be the shoulder okay so let's mark out the shoulder and the sleeve the sleeve is inclusive so we are not separating it from the shoulder so my shoulder is nine inches and then remember it's going to be extending forward down to the sleeves so i'll be adding 13 inches to the nine inches making it a total of 22 inches okay so I have total of 22 inches on the shoulder line with the sleeves inclusive. Okay, so what we are going to do right now, let's be sure we have 22. Okay, this is 22. So what we're going to do now is to mark it down to the hem of our gown. Okay, on the waist, we are marking out the 22. On the hip, we also mark out 22. And then to the hem of our gown. We'll also mark out 22 inches 
and then connect the lines together. So let's do the marking and the connection. Okay. So we'll connect it down to the shoulder or from the shoulder down to the hem. Just the way I'm doing it. Watch what I'm doing. I'm connecting the marked lines together. Remember, we marked our 22 inches for horizontal measurement across the length of our fabric. Okay. I'm marking it out. This is a large fabric. It's going to give us a little stress moving it around the table. So let's be sure of what we have. Let's also mark out 22 so that our lines will be in order. So let's connect it downward. Okay. So we finished marking out the 22 inches across the length of our fabric. So what we are going to do right now is to cut out the curved side of our fabric so that we have, we remove the excess that we are not using. Okay. So from the sides down to the hem line, we're going to make a curve. This is to beautify our gown. We're going to make a curve and then cut out our curve. Just watch what I'm doing. You can use your curve ruler to curve it out or you can make a freehand curving. Just the way I'm doing, I'm doing a freehand curving. But make sure the curve is properly done. As you can see, so we're going to cut it out from the hem line down to the shoulder line. So let's cut it out. Okay. As you can see, I've cut out my gown. You can see the curve looking very beautiful. Okay. So what we are going to do now is to go back to the shoulder line and then impute our neck measurements. Okay. For my neck width, I'm going to be using 4.5 inches, depending on what you want. If you want it wider than what we have here, you can make it 5 or 5.5 inches, but I need 4.5 inches. And then for the neck depth, I'll be using 4.5 inches too. Okay. So we are using 4.5 by 4.5 inches for the neck depth and the neck width. So let's connect the lines together. Remember the neck line, okay, is for both the front and the back neck line. So let's cut it out. Okay. As you can see, our neck line is perfectly fine. So what we are going to do now is to impute our armhole, okay? So remember, we cut out 4.5 inches for the neck width. So we are going to be measuring out what we have here. We have 9 inches for our shoulder. So we are going to measure our 4.5 inches, okay? And then mark out our armhole. Our armhole is 9. But I'll be adding 1 inch for ease. So we will be marking out 10 inches for the arm hole, just the way I'm doing it, as you can see. So that is where our sewing is going to start from, down to the hem of our gun. So we impute other horizontal measurements, okay? So my bust is 44. We are going to impute our bust measurement right there. My bust is 44 divided by 4. I have 11 inches, okay? And then I'll be adding one inch for ease. Depending on what you want, you can add 1.5 or 3 eighths of an inch, okay? So I'm adding one inch for ease. And then for the waist, my waist is 42 divided by 4. We have 10 in 10.5 inches, okay? 10 and a half. So I'll be adding one inch for 
is Okay, and then for the hip, my hip is 45. 45 divided by 4, we have 11 and quarter plus 1 inch for ease. Okay, as you can see, 1 inch for ease. So whatever we have at the hip line is what you are supposed to impute at the hem line. Okay. If we want it very straight, that's what we are going to impute. But if we impute the same measurement at the hip line, your client might not be able to work freely. So what we are going to do right now, at the hem line, I'm going to be adding 1.5 inch or 1 inch at the hem line to ease movement, okay? So the total we have at the hip line is 12 and half okay 12 and half or 12 and quarter so we're going to be imputing one extra inch at the hem line to ease movement okay so whatever we have at the way at the hip line we imputed it at the hem line and then added extra one inch for ease okay so that our client can work freely in the garments. So let's connect our lines together. Let's connect the lines together. As you can see, the hemline is looking a bit freer than the hip line. This is to ease movement for our clients. Okay. So let's also connect the shoulder to the waist and hip line. Okay, so we're using a little curve because it's not the same measurement. Just watch what I'm doing. So we'll connect our lines together. Okay, so that is what the line we are going to follow and make our stitching okay we we'll also mark it out on the other side and then we'll make a little notch at this point okay so that we can be able to mark it properly on the other side of our fabric okay this is my armhole my bust line okay so we're going to make little notches on the marked points so we can mark properly on the other side of our fabric just the way i'm doing it Okay, so we'll mark it out before folding the sides. All right. So what we're going to do right now is to pipe the neck, okay? We're going to be using a bias strip to cut, to sew up the neck. Just what I'm holding in my hand, a bias strip. We're going to use it to sew up the neck. And then for the sides, I'll be using about 1.5 inches to make a fold, okay? And sew it round the sides. All right. So let me take it to the machine and I'll get back to you to show us what I have done, okay? Remember for the markings, I'll be cleaning it after now. You have to do it on the right side because we'll be sewing directly on the right side, okay? So, let's take it to the machine and show us exactly what I'm doing. I'll get back to us after sewing and hemming the side. Okay, guys, here is my booboo gown. As you can see, I've piped the neck. I've used my bias strip to fold the neck, to turn it round. And then on the sides, I've also used about 1.5 inches to 2 inches to make my folding at the sides, okay? And then I've also marked and sew on my gown. As you can see, see the curved ends? As you can see, beautifully curved round on both sides. is very fine and curved beautifully well. Okay, guys.
this is the end of our tutorial if this tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up don't fail to subscribe before leaving this channel and turn up the notification bell to always get notified anytime i upload my videos bye bye see you in my next tutorial